So having studied civil engineering from three different institutions of learning and amassing straight A's in all of my structural design courses, I've come to show you the resources that gave me this magic and in the space of a decade I was able to produce straight A's in all structural engineering courses. So stay with me as I show to you 10 books that you can begin to interact with and you create this magic for yourself. I am Joshua the designer and in case you are interacting with my videos for the very first time, I would like that you subscribe to this channel, like this video and share abroad to those who would like to amass straight excellence in their work as far as civil engineering is concerned. See, so number one on this list is Reinforced Concrete Designs to Eurocode 2 by Mosley and Bongay. This book is fundamental for understanding reinforced concrete designs using Eurocode 2. It covers comprehensive designs, approaches with examples, making it suitable for both professionals and students across different regions of the world. Number two on my list is Structural Analysis by R.C. Ibla. Ibla's work is unique, popular for its clarity and detailed explanation for structural analysis. Its concepts, you know, such as analyzing beams and frames, it is essential for engineers focus on structural integrity. Number three that you need to interact with to get this magic done with you is still designs by William Till Segul. You know, it's a must-have text for all engineers, whether professional and student engineers working on steel structures. This book explains to you um, steel designs, the basics of steel designs, including the members, the frames, and connection details, you know, in accordance with international codes. Whichever code works for your region, it works for you, and it is widely referenced across different regions. Number four on my list that you need to begin to interact with to create this magic for yourself is Civil Engineering Materials by Shan Sumayaji. All right, so Sumayaji books covers the properties and applications of various construction materials like concrete and steel. You know, it ensures a deep understanding of materials, behavior in structural applications. And then number five is something you cannot and you would not do it if you want to be a good and a better structural and civil engineer. All right, so it is the code of practice. And we, you know, we have several codes of practice, um, especially whichever applies to your own region. So we have the British code of practice, we have the Euro code of practice, we have the Indian code of practice, whatever code of practice it is. You know, familiarities with international codes, um, such as the BS code and the Euro code, is essential for engineers. So as you begin to study, what I did basically was to um, see how my theoretical um, work in, as a student, you know, um, link up with the professional application. So I began to look into code of practice and then apply them as I learn my design in the classroom. So you should do the same thing also. It, it offers to you um, a global guidelines on structural designs, ensuring projects meet international safety and performance standard. And you also want to consider this as you go ahead in your learning structural designs. All right, number six that gave me this magic, all right, is the design of reinforced concrete structures by Chanakya Aya. There is something unique about Chanakya's text. You know, it's an excellent resource for mastering the design of reinforced concrete structures and um, it offers detailed work examples that are crucial for building and infrastructural project. Number seven that gave me this magic, you know, this also is one that you should interact with if you want to make a great change and a difference um, in your journey of being a civil engineer. Reynolds Reinforced Concrete Designers Handbook is the name by C.E. Reynolds and J.C. Steedman. All right, so it is a cornerstone for concrete design. I mean, a cornerstone for concrete design. The Reynolds Handbook is packed with helpful design. It, it aids, um, you know, the engineer, the students to quickly understand the perspectives um, of design or the basics of designs. It has examples also in it, you know, that, that makes it beautiful. It makes it a vital reference for both students, like I said, and also professional 
and practicing engineers. Number eight that you have to interact with to create this magic for yourself also is the Concrete Technology by A.M. Neva and J.J. Brooks. You know, this book offers a detailed look into concrete technology from production um, to quality control. You know, there is something about Neva's work that I have observed and also that would help you. Neva's work is widely regarded as um, essential for understanding concrete in all its facet. So if you want to have a mastery as far as, as, far as concrete is concerned, you must do um, a little um, business with Neva's work. All right, and then you become better. Number nine of its kind that makes the difference for me in my journey of amassing straight A's in structural and civil engineering. So we have the principle of foundation engineering by Braja M. Das. Principle of foundation engineering by Braja M. Das. There, there, was, there is this one of our um, dear lecturer that would want you to really master the principles of a foundation engineer by asking you to go and do business with Braja Daz and uh, that that's for me seemed to be the best part of the advice as we began to learn foundation engineering all right because um, this book is a comprehensive um, guide on foundation design you know it, it provides principle and practices for designing shallow and also deep foundations so it's a it's a go-to text for civil engineers involved in geotechnical engineering for foundation design so it's going to help you um, develop enough understanding uh, as to the approach that should give you a workable result uh, i mean in, in terms of design as you begin to learn your way around structural and civil engineering at large so the last one that i will give to you the number 10 text that created this magic for me and it's going to do for you if you interact with those books is structural steel work designed to limit state theory by dennis lamb i i think i need to really ring this to your earrings structural steel work designed to limit state theory by dennis slam theng chung ang and sing ping chu hmm. That sounds like it, right? Okay, so this text covers the design of structural steel work according to limit state theory with examples aligned to Euro code standard, you know? Um, and this, for me, I feel it's perfect for those working on steel structures um, in this region and some other region where you can have um, Euro code being applied, you know, and even beyond. So, um, this list I've just given to you is sufficient to produce this magic for you also as you advance in your course of study or course of practice. All right, so if you need any help in getting this text or maybe beyond this text, um, I can help you out as free will, you know, to help you amass excellence in your practice of civil engineers. Do well to use the link attached to this uh, video and then you get this book right on your table as you saw earlier on mine see you in the next video bye i am joshua the designer and in case you're interacting with my videos for the very first time i would like that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share abroad to those who would like to amass straight excellence in their work as far as civil engineering is concerned see you in the next video bye